Hello, my name is Mike Rayner, and this video is about how to install Python 3.11 into Ubuntu 22.04. The outcomes for this video are what you should be able to do after watching the video. Install Python 3.11 in Ubuntu 22.04. Install a set of useful packages for Python 3.11. And Determine all programs with runtime dependencies on Python 3.10, which is the default Python for Ubuntu. And finally, configure Python 3.11 to be the default Python, but keep the system default of Python 3 as Python 3.10. Requirements An Ubuntu 22.04 computer and an internet connection. And the next three slides contain additional sources of info, a list of the software used in making this video, and a disclaimer. If you wish, you can stop this video to read the slides. So in order to install Python 3.11, I need to open up a terminal. I will do a Control-Alt-T. And there I go. And the first thing I want to do is try and make sure my system's all updated. So I'll do a sudo apt update and it says five packages can be upgraded run app list upgradable to see them do an apt list upgradable looks like we got a lot of x server x org so well let's go ahead and upgrade them sudo and uh, TZ data is the last one, is the first one that I haven't really mentioned. sudo apt upgrade. And do I want to continue? Yes, I should have said upgrade dash y. And up here. It says the following packages have been kept back X server, common, X server, Zephyr, X server, Xorg, and the X server, Xorg legacy. So let's take care of that. And the way to take care of that is to use sudo apt install dash dash only upgrade and then let me copy all these packages essentially what's happened is they've changed dependencies copy and regular upgrade won't do it so we have to do only upgrade these packages I'm going to do a paste right here put them in and then hit enter and we'll see if we can get these upgraded now and that takes care of a dependency issue. And then I'll do another sudo apt update. So now all packages are up to date. Well, this isn't really part of uh, installing Python 3.11, but uh, I kind of like to make sure everything's up to date before I do an additional install. So one thing we have to make sure is install one dependency. Let me get back down here. And it's sudo apt install software dash properties dash common dash y. Now this should already be installed, but I'm just verifying to make sure it is. And you need to have this installed so you can install personal package archives which I'm going to be using to install 3.11. So it's already there. Zero upgraded, newly installed, it's done. Now I'm going to add a personal package archive. Add apt repository PPA dead snakes. And they've been around for quite a while, so I kind of trust them. And so let's go ahead and install this uh, archive and enter 
Once the archive is installed, all I have to do is do a sudo no, apt install python 3.11, and this time I'm going to say dash y. The Dead Snakes also offers you a different option to install uh, it with the full option, and that installs some extra packages. But I'm just going to do the basic Python 3.11 here. And I better go back and spell sudo right, because I got a P there instead of an O. Okay, hit enter. So now Python 3.11 is installed. And if I want to verify it, all I have to do is go Python 3.11 and then V for version. And there it is. Now one thing I always like to do is install a set of supporting packages. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy something and then paste it. Copy. And then I'll explain what each one of these does in very short terms. This is the Python dev package that uh, allows for C headers, .h files. A Python 3.11 VENV allows for a virtual environment, helps you with a virtual environment. Uh, this utility helps you uh, add support for building and installing additional modules. GDBM is GNU database management. TK, uh, it's a de facto way in Python to create graphical user interfaces. It's TKinter. And lib2 to 3 is converts uh, Python 2 code to Python 3 code, but you're still going to have to have a human look at it and make sure everything went right. So I'm going to got the dash Y, so it's going to, I'm going to hit enter and install. Okay, so now we've got Python 3.11, some supporting modules installed. Now the default. Python for Ubuntu 22.04 is Python 3.10. And what I'm going to do is take a look at what programs require Python 3.10 in their runtime environment. So I'm going to go over here and do a sudo apt cache rdpends Python 3.10. Gives you a whole bunch kind of flew by real quick. And so what I'm going to do now is see exactly how many there are by piping that into WC, kind of like word count, but with the L, which is a line. So we'll see how many lines there are because each program is listed on a separate line. Hit enter. So I've got uh, 46 programs here that kind of depend on Python 3.10. Now, some of them don't have to do anything uh, like Python 3.10 doc, but some of them, like Plasma Firewall, may really require your firewall to work. I'm not exactly sure how all the dependencies work there. But if you want to make Python 3.11 your default Python and Ubuntu, you're going to have to go around and check all of these. And it can be done. Anyway... But I'm going to leave Python 3.10 as default. And if I go Python 3 dash version, it says Python 3.10. So both Python 3 and Python 3.10 are the system Pythons. And I'm going to leave those alone. In the next section, I'm going to configure Python 3.11 as a main Python version of all the Python versions on this system or on this computer, except for Python 3.10. In this section, I'm going to keep the Python 3 or Python 3.10 as a machine's default Python, but I'm going to look and see how many other Python versions I've got installed on this machine. In order to do that, I'm going to do a Control-Alt-T, pull up a terminal, and I'm going to do an ls usr bin python star. So what that tells me is what versions of Python are installed in this directory. Now this does not cover other Python versions that may be installed through Anaconda, which are normally installed in the user's home directory. 
and I want to configure Python 3.11 to be the default Python version, but not the default Python 3 version, which is 3.10. So in order to do that, I will do a sudo update alternatives dash dash install usr bin python. Now here, I'm not doing Python 3, just plain Python, and then usr bin Python 3.8. And then this number right here I'm going to put in. The higher number is going to be the default. So I'm going to put the lowest one in first, which is Python 3.8, and just give it the number 1. And hit enter. Ask for my password, of course. So that's done. So now I'm going to do the same thing with Python 3.11. I'm just going to hit the up key and then go to Python 3.11. Everything's the same. And here I'm going to put in 2 and hit enter. It doesn't have to be 1 and 2. It could be 100 and 200 as long as this number is higher than the one used for Python 3.8. I hit enter. And now I'm going to do a sudo update alternatives. And this is where I can actually change my configuration. Config. Python, hit enter, and you'll notice right here it says USR bin Python 3.11.2, and that's the default. So I simply press enter to keep the current choice. And if I want to do Python, check the version, and you'll see it comes up as 3.11. Still, the default version on this machine for Python 3 is going to stay at 3.10. And if you want to use the Python 3.8, you can either change the configuration settings or you can just simply key in Python 3.8 and you'll see that we're using Python 3.8.16. And that's pretty much it for uh, configuring multiple Pythons and keeping Python 3.11 as default or all the multiple Pythons that you may have on your machine, except for the one that Ubuntu 22.04 uses, which is Python 3.10. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, and have a nice day. Thank you for watching this. If you have any questions on this video, please ask them in the comments below. Also, if there is a video you would like to see made, please let me know. While I can't promise anything, I will try and look into it. Cheers.